Okay, well this is the uh, this is my little Art Tech uh, Diamond 1100. This is the Vector Guardian. Uh, it's just a stabilizer. You can configure it really nicely with the computer if you want, but it's also out of the box, pretty easy to do. See here, it's a, as I yaw the plane, it moves the rudder, and it gives you, give you elevate, and the ailerons will adjust. Try, trying to keep it level is basically what it's trying to do. And uh, just makes it easier to fly now. We'll show you, you're not, if you're not gonna do stunts with it, like here I'm, I'm trying to really roll the plane, and watch what they do as it actually does roll. The Guardian starts to take over. So he's, he's actually taking my roll out, and he's actually trying to reverse it. Now you probably could get it upside down and do a split S or something, but and you can tune it to however much you want. And if you if you add the uh, auxiliary channel to it, you can change the modes in flight. And so this is the Eagle Tree Guardian. Uh, you just plug him into your receiver, and everything's labeled. All your channels are labeled on all of its cables, so it's easy to see. You plug your actual servos in here, plug your radio in here. He's got his own, he comes with a cable harness, so it's pretty easy to set up. And what I'm going to show you here is how, how easy it is, even without a computer, to tune the stabilization. Uh, I mean, you can change the direction of the action and everything with it if you, if you need to. Um, you got yaw roll and pitch adjustments just with a screwdriver. So what I want to do here, and if you saw the other flight videos, uh, you know, so it, it, I was porpoising around a lot. I didn't have the elevator trimmed. Now I could trim it out and fly it myself, or let the Eagle Tree do it. Uh, let him try to keep it level by actually giving him a little bit of control of the elevators. Again, always uh, make sure your transmitter's on, throttles down. Uh, actually, it's probably safer to actually unplug the ESC from the motor. <laughs> I've got some scars on my leg from my previous attempt. Okay, what I'm going to do here is just uh, I'm just going to turn the uh, elevator screw here. Let's see where is it. Okay, there's the elevator screw. I'm going to adjust it until I start seeing some elevator action. See, I'm going down. He's trying to adjust. But, as you can see, he's doing a good job now. He's trying to get out of it. Yeah, he's got good control. Now, this is sweet because if, uh, if your ailerons are reversed, you can actually turn this. You just turn the screws until it, until it, it likes to reverse the action. So, uh, pretty easy to do just with a Phillips screwdriver.